Hi everyone, my name is Patricia Walden. I was talking about uh, Daniel Holtzclaw. Um, his case has been an ongoing issue uh, for quite some time now. We're talking over two, three years now. Um, I want to discuss Benjamin Crump. Uh, basically, he claims to be a civil rights attorney and president of the National Bar Association. In this video, we're going to be discussing how uh, this attorney has really taken non-facts in the Holtzclaw case to try to represent victims that, in fact, uh, were not stating the truth. And the only way that the prosecutor could actually get a conviction against Holtzclaw was to actually lump sum all the victims. In other words, so they took Janie Liggins and they decided that this woman was making an actual claim. So then all the other victims were tagged underneath her. So they weren't actually going before the court and actually being uh, represented, you know, as, as each little thing that they were stating was not actually being reviewed, which I kind of think that's not really fair to Holtzclaw. Um, but in this part right here, I want to talk about Benjamin Crump actually calling it a landmark case in which Holtzclaw basically was a patsy in exchange for 400 years of injustice against black women. There was an actual video of Mr. Crump stating this on the Oklahoman. Uh, they had put it out on YouTube some time back. But I, I'm sorry, but I'm unable to actually locate that video. I wished I had actually kept it and captured the part that I really wanted to uh, bring forth to uh, everybody that's actually been following the case. The video was deleted, guys. It's no longer on their channel, by the way. We've looked through their entire channel. The video of Holtz Claws, there, there's, there, the video's gone. There's no more of that. Okay, but in there, Mr. Crump comes out after Daniel has actually been convicted, and he's having a little press conference, and the video was less than, I'll say it was, less than seven minutes because it was just a short capture uh, by the Oklahoman where they were actually, he comes out and he's speaking how Holtzclaw is actually, you know, he's being, to me, I felt like the whole thing was is that he was stating that Holtzclaw was in jail and that he would be paying for 400 years worth of injustice against these black women uh, throughout the centuries that have gone by. Um, if anyone out there could actually find the video or any of that, I, it would be so awesome to actually get my hands on that. And I've tried to have uh, a few other people try to search for it, but nobody's actually found the video anymore. I think the video's been deleted. <laughs> you know, they know that we're out there. Yeah, a lot of people are helping Holtzclaw, and we're trying to get our hands on a lot of things. And this was one of the uh, items that actually struck me right to my heart actually because it was like saying okay it was okay uh you know it's okay to actually crucify this man for 400 years of injustice and and i don't want that to be the case here i hope that's not the case but we actually want to uh put a we'll put down a couple of links where uh we actually found a couple of pages that were actually describing some of this stuff. And Mr. Crump, he just kind of took it off basis with his lies and everything. He states some pretty bad things about the, the evidence and all this stuff. But folks, none of that stuff was actually in the actual trial transcripts. I have went so far as to actually read the trial transcripts. Uh, they said that there was DNA evidence in the panties and all this other stuff. None of that stuff is accurate. It is not accurate. It wasn't in there. It shouldn't be in there. If you can't go through and read it off the actual trial transcripts, then it just didn't happen. And nobody should be actually taking an a, a account for anything else other than that. So if you guys like this video, I'm asking that you guys... Uh, subscribe or like the video you know help me try to find this information because I really want to help Daniel and I think that 
this man is actually rotting in jail and he really didn't commit the crime. Um, uh, I've done one on DNA evidence about Daniel Holtzclaw once I reviewed the actual DNA evidence that the family actually had back and everything else. It blew my mind that this man was actually uh, excluded from the DNA, but yet they gained a conviction. And this was done by the prosecutor, Galen Giger, who was a, or Geiger, I should say, who was a very, very bad prosecutor. That man needs to not have a job. He needs to be shot down and actually put through prosecutorial misconduct. But he needs to be taken down and actually put in jail. I mean, for myself, I believe the man should be put in jail for as long as Holtzclaw. Okay, he fabricated the evidence. You know, his detectives that he used also lied, cheated, and stilled. They're not turning over evidence. So I asked Oklahoma State, what is it exactly that you are trying to hide? Is it the fact that you know that your state is known for actually committing perjury and lying and fabricating evidence? And you've actually had, uh, before you guys were uh, caught before with uh, black magic fabricating evidence and uh, putting people on death row and everything else. Uh, you have this lady doing all this stuff. I mean, she's no longer around to speak anymore because she died. And so did the first case. But also at the same time, if, if this is happening to him, this could happen to anybody. And I personally don't want my family to actually sit there and have to go through something like this. This really is an injustice and it's not right. And most of these victims... They're still out there committing crimes. They're using drugs. Uh, Shardarian Hill there, as you can see her over to uh, the the le the right up. She herself, she committed perjury in court. She said she was not a victim. That he didn't do anything to her. So I ask everybody, what is going on? Why are the victims lying? Were they paid to lie? And what is the court hiding? Why is everything, um, why are they sealing motions? Why are they hiding evidence? Why are they not allowing this and that? Everything is pertinent to the evidence. Everything. If their uh, DNA uh, person that was got in court and stated all this information and it was actually inaccurate, then we need to get that we actually need to get that right, and all that information should actually be shared with you. So I appreciate your guys' time today, and if you guys find anything out, I would love to hear it. Thanks. Have a great day. Guys, please help me. Please subscribe, because it took me an hour to edit this. Please. <laughs> it took so much work. <laughs> Hi guys, I hope you like the funny ending of my son, you know, I have to use him to edit videos and he doesn't really like it as you can tell. <laughs> you guys have a good day, thank you.